This grand old Essex barn, built in the 16th century, is situated in Rochford, Essex. Today, inside the barn, Jonathan Summerfield is preparing his 1932 Riley Special for tomorrow's race. Uh, Cadwell Park is a circuit in uh, Lincolnshire, near Louth. Um, the race tomorrow is the Spiro and Wachowett Trophy race, um, which is a race for 1100cc uh, cars. Uh, it's the main one for my type of car, and it's one I've been watching for years and years and years, and it's the one I want to win. <laughs> Welcome to Cadwell Park for the Vintage Sports Car Club race meeting this August Bank Holiday Monday. With conditions changeable, sunny round this side of the circuit but wet on the far side. The grid of cars now lining up for our first event. Summerfield on pole position alongside him the red Lagonda of Fletcher Jones. And the flag drops and it's Summerfield that gets the start ahead of the Fletcher Jones Lagonda, but there's Hernandez with the Little Austin coming through also. But into the first corner, it's the Riley of Summerfield that has the lead from the Red Lagonda. And as they go up the hill into Charlie's, it's still the same with Summerfield there being pressurised by the Lagonda. Into Brooklands now, we see the Riley of Summerfield. This is the damp part of the circuit, and he's losing it. He's lost it. Summerfield there spins it all away out of Brooklands. So now with his work cut out, Summerfield in the Riley has to chase his way up through the field and he looks to find his way past one of the other competitors there. But now back round onto the dry part of the circuit, we see them. And it's Fletcher Jones that has the lead. Hernandez there in second. Recovering Summerfield now up to third, looking for a way past the Austin of Hernandez. And he looks to the outside, to the inside through the mountain section. He's through past the Austin, but onto the grass in his efforts to chase the Lagonda of Fletcher Jones. So Summerfield now has his work cut out once again, chasing Fletcher Jones's Red Lagonda. As they go past us once more, there goes Summerfield passing one of the backmark Austins, and Anders there in third. Back onto the wet part of the circuit, and Summerfield is again closing on our leader, Fletcher Jones. Fletcher Jones now coming towards us at the mountain section. Well in control of this race, or is he? Because Summerfield is closing all the time as Fletcher Jones there crests the mountain and Summerfield now in amongst the back markers looking for a way through on the inside of the MG. Through he goes, but he's going wide, he's lost it. And that unfortunately hands the race to Fletcher Jones with Summerfield's car damaged there. The rest of the field make their way through the mountain section. And Fletcher Jones, race winner there, commiserates with the unlucky Summerfield. The main damage has been uh, completely sort of bent up a kingpin. Um, it's damaged all the steering and bent lots of that. Uh, it's broken a shock absorber, uh, it's squashed all my brake ducts, and also knocked the axle out of alignment, so I've got quite a lot of work to do. Uh, well, it's Tuesday night now, and it's got to be finished by Friday night. So, um, as I work during the day, and it's an hour's drive, I've got um, three very busy evenings.
the next event is a sprint at Kerbera, um, which is organised by Car and Car Conversions magazine. Uh, it's an invitation only event, um, which you had to send like a picture of your car and description of it into them, and they'll sort of choose, you know, sort of 80 or 90 people to go in for this this event. Um, and it's it's against still modern cars. I'll be the only old proper old car there. So um, it's, it's really good because you actually don't normally race against modern cars. Kerbera is near Litchfield in Staffordshire and the track is owned by the Midlands Sports Car Club. It is a sprint course, that is to say that the cars run one at a time in classes. The fastest time over two runs wins. Cars in the class, um, there's a uh, Rally Ford Angler, um, there's a Ginetta with an Alfa Romeo engine in it, um, there's uh, a couple of Minis, which are sort of full race, um, 1300s in there, um, and a few sort of, uh, oh, there's a uh, Darien, which is like a hill and ink based car, so they're all sort of well quick, sort of, um, sort of pack of cars. From the start, a very fast left-hand bend leads into a reducing right, followed by a difficult chicane and a tricky right onto the finish straight. Any driver going off the track onto the grass has his time disallowed. After practice, the Mini has the quickest time. An inspection of all the cars for workmanship and personal input is conducted by the car and car conversion magazine experts. The points awarded as a result of their deliberations are added to the competitor's sprint times. Uh, my car is a 1932 Riley 9 Special. Um, started off life as a Riley van and I've built it up over a number of years into the sort of spec it is now. Um, it's the quickest Riley 9 um, whilst I can keep it on the track. Which has been a problem. It's just the red one. Other thing than the mini and the angle. Top of the line already. This also being the oldest car oh. in the uh, competition. Jonathan Summerfield uh, in uh, number one, uh, which is his 1932 Riley with a 1938 engine. It started his life actually as a Riley van. Before. The Mini has the quickest time yet again.
couple of times before, but has always spun off each time he's been over at the start. But he managed not to spin off here today. He's chasing. So Jonathan Summerfield goes quickest on his second run, 41.35. So Dabrian Mark 5. Car is more than 20 years old. So here's Janetta G15, another car that's more than 20 years old. Uh, 41.35 to be. Now the yellow mini, this is the car that was quickest in the class on the first run. That's now been beaten by the Riley 9 special Jonathan okay. Summerfield. So can uh, Stuart Jilt in the yellow mini improve on his earlier time? Oh. For me, the 41, 41.81. So he's done it. So he's the quickest. To Jonathan gets the quickest time, but will he on aggregate win the day? there everyone's all competitive and he said the worst thing about it was that he's got to go home to his local pub and tell all his mates that he's been beaten by a 60 year old car. Mm -hmm. 